So I bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members of Speed Medical Institute to Dr. Asta Garg for scoring rank number 29 in MCH Thank Surgical you. Group in EAT Session 2023. Congratulations to you, Doctor. Thank you, sir. Doctor, can we know a brief background of where you started till date, what you have done? Sir, I uh, did my MBBS from Kasturba Medical College, Mangalore, Manipal University. Then I did my MS in General Surgery from Government Medical Host uh, Hospital, Chandigarh. And sir, like uh, last year, just after my exam, uh, I gave uh, NEET, but I didn't get such a good rank. But I was very sure that I wanted surgical oncology. So I joined Speed and started uh, preparing for it. So that's that's about it. <laughs> So why uh, surgical oncology in specific, any, any specific reasons for it? Yeah. Sir, I just developed. Sir, yeah. I was initially confused between gastroenterology and surgical oncology. But I found surgical oncology to be more interesting in terms of how many things you can operate and how you can uh, operate for every system of the body. So I liked it better than, so I decided I wanted to pursue it. A full-fledged surgeon is in you. Yes, sir. So, great. Now, can you tell us uh, what all you did for the past one year to achieve this rank? So, the thing that I did, uh, I think the most was attending all the super speciality classes by uh, faculty, especially Basansa classes for gastro. And I also did CTVS classes and plastic surgery classes and neurosurgery classes. I didn't like read Sebastian or Bailey at all. I only did the new <laughs> Bailey through your videos and I did like the super speciality classes. I made my own notes from the classes and I just revised that again and again. Like I didn't do the new Bailey. There was no time to read the new book. So I did all your classes for that. And like if you attend every super speciality classes, you almost, you completely cover Sebastian and much a little more that, than that also. And I felt like after giving last year need like there was a little, you can't just do Bailey and go to an exam if you want to at least top 100 rank if you want. So that's why I did all the super speciality classes. How you understood that actually? I mean, from the last exam, the paper was very uh, to the level of uh, only PG level. It's not a very tough paper. But this paper was a different paper. How did you uh, understood that I mean this could happen and then you did the way uh, that you have done? So, Sir, honestly, I found that last year's paper, like I was just, uh, I just gave my MS exam. So my, the focus in your general surgery is less on neurosurgery and CT waste and plastic surgery. So when I attended last year's NEET, I felt that like ex gastro still I could attempt, but all those other uh, topics were not something that were just Bailey based. It was not basic questions. So I realized that at least these specialities I had to do more than what was given in Bailey. So I realized that it was like, it might be recurring pattern this year as well. So that's why I did the specialities more than the basic levels. You are a very smart surgeon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Sir. So, okay, tell me what, I mean, how you did it? I mean, you went through the videos or you took notes or you did questions. Can you tell us something uh, in, in detail on that? Sir, uh, for super speciality classes, I just fixed my weeks that I'm going to finish like plastic surgery or basansa classes from the super speciality folder. Uh, some of them I just listened to the pre-recorded classes. Some of them I listened live because this was the first time it was being done live. So like it was not with my schedule like sometimes. So I just... I just wanted to do that topic from anywhere by the super speciality teacher. So I either did it from a pre-recorded class or live, but I made notes with it. I found it more comforting to revise with those. And uh, after doing that, uh, I just revised every week. I decided one super speciality I wanted to revise. And so I attended then all live classes every time because I felt it helped me keep in touch with everything in exams. It's difficult to know what everyone else is doing and, to have an interactive uh, class, it really helped to just, you don't get bored, you get to learn something new. So I attended all the live classes after that and revised my old uh, notes. So that's mostly what I did for like po past four or five months. That's what I did. So, I mean, I mean, what is the time that you allocated for I mean, was working and also doing simultaneously or how about your uh, time schedule for this? 
sir so, like uh, for the past 6 7 months i'm not working so i was just studying so i did around 7 8 hours of studying daily to get this rank like i wanted to make sure that i was not leaving anything the key is not leaving the simpler questions that you those are easy questions like statistics questions were the kind of questions where if you just read it once you can recall them but if you haven't then you have to go on thinking about okay i read it in mbbs okay what is that then you can't remember it because the options are closed so it is just that you have to touch everything at least once so that it's easier for one to recall that during the exam so after attending this paper I mean what do you feel yeah. I mean after looking under this paper I I didn't think so I was going to get this rank because honestly it was a very confusing paper it is the it was the kind of paper that you can come back home also and then you you wouldn't know what the correct answer was because uh you tend to add or subtract some things from the questions and the options were really close uh so at that point you have to think like the best option that you can at least from two options you have to take the best option according to what you think should be the answer some are easy questions but then those are easy for everyone so the main problem is that you have to the clinical questions where you think this could be your answer like those were the ones where even if you come home you can't know if it is the correct answer or not it's difficult to interpret those questions so the clinical questions were a little difficult this year i felt so what uh, kind of questions percentage of questions you think that would have come from general surgery like bailey or subsistent and what so there were a good uh, good number of questions that were right from bailey especially so i would remember one question which is uh, vascular where uh, it was a graft question the peritoneum is closed over the graft uh, so there are no addition the those were direct lines literally in all the four options taken directly from bailey but there were other questions which uh were more concept based this time as well from uh especially from gastro there were some concept based questions uh and uh, some image based questions were there and so the general surgery were a good 40 questions i feel there were a good 40 questions which can be done if you just done general surgery as well just basic general so how many questions did you attend this exam so i attempted uh, out of 150 148 questions i attempted i just left two because i was i thought i shouldn't please leave, leave something even though i was confused in them so i thought i'll just leave it uh, i so i left two questions here very good now what is the message that you want to give i think your message will be much valid than i believe even my message actually i mean you are very 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 clear in your thought process now tell me tell us uh in in a summary what should be done for neat ss exam sir i think the pattern that has emerged since they've changed this neat exam pattern is they want they don't want you to go in a lot of detail but they don't want the student to come to an exam with leaving like you can't leave plastic surgery and go to the exam it is you have to attend uh, the and you can't just uh, know the basics like just graft and what is a flap you you should know some name flaps as well so i think it is just uh, i think i would advise everyone to attend the super speciality classes by the faculty they're long and it is a more exhaustive preparation but i think if you want to like get a really good rank then i think it is also necessary necessity but uh, like i think it is very important and then sir bailey obviously because some basic concepts and questions were called or uh, were solved by bailey as well so i think that is the main that should be the main focus doing all the subjects properly and not just leaving it uh, like even if we leave one subject it does not feel a lot but good four or five questions could have been solved from it so i like there were so that uh, it so for other uh, students it might like they might need to think a lot for those questions but if you have attended the super speciality class for you it comes like ah oh, this is an easy question this was like for ctvs sir had explained us the classification also all the types also treatment also they just asked the name so then you get some confidence during the paper otherwise you lose it with every question which is what i felt last year after every question i felt oh i didn't know this no oh i didn't know this or i had to think a lot or maybe it's just a guess work if you attend the super specialty classes as you go through the 150 questions during the exam you feel a little more confident with every question no i have read around this so 
it helps the mindset during the exam also i felt it helped me a bit so i would advise everyone to listen to all the super speciality classes in speed and then do the general surgery as well so uh, the minute the students see what they feel today after finishing general surgery is it is just the level of pg exit that we just we just brush up and go to the exam and get cleared i mean that has yeah. been uh, this last year and this year the exam is been in a different style and yes sir. now they are feeling why should i read all the super speciality now it becomes very a tough task so yes this... so also it feels so exhaustive that i will have ah. to read something i'm not interested in so then it just becomes about like what you want to do i was so sure i wanted to do surgical oncology and if i don't cut it in the first 200 ranks then there is not much scope for right. me so so i had to take that step so it is like it is difficult to do all the subjects though I, but then you, like TTVS, you have to do it at least tvs is totally new neurosurgery is yes. to some extent 50% new and uh, yes, this sir. plastic surgery is 100% new everything is new yes. there's nothing yes, that you can sir. correlate what you have learned in yes. general surgery so in M- general surgery we just do a flap or a graft that is the only thing we know in general surgery for plastics but they are more than that so it is so uro i did only baby sir though i felt urology in this baby was covered so much that i just didn't feel i had it even to do urology also to that extent so urology is the one thing that i did only in baby but rest i did uh, from super speciality classes what about gastro gastro was it restricted to the baby or went to the super speciality level also sir i have attended basan sir classes even in ms because his concepts were so good so i never thought that gastro was something that i want i had to differentiate also if this is a super speciality level okay. or not because we have like i have been attending basan sir classes for a very long time and his concepts really help you to solve that question that comes for the exam and also i think everyone is more comfortable with gastro anyway, anyway. like yeah so and if you attend sir's class even once gastro feels like it's done like you can solve questions with it perfect uh, the other subjects are the ones which it's more difficult because no one has read them and they are more new the classifications are new so that is uh, one thing that i would recommend everyone to do correct but tough task but uh, that is the recommendation yes sir. <laughs> yes sir. okay so <clears throat> time to thank and whom all you wish that you should thank at this point of time who have helped you to build this career till date in this platform we can do so if you want sir i would like to thank my parents for supporting me uh, like emotionally as well as financially through this year of preparation also sir i would like to uh, thank my uh, general surgery boss dr robin koshik for helping me and uh, sir i would like to thank you so your words of motivation so the the class where you said right how much questions you want to uh, get correct in this exam and me and my friend literally took our notebook and we wrote the number of questions we want and i think you helped us motivate like if there was no live classes for 2 to 3 weeks it we felt agitated that there is no life <laughs> class what are we supposed to do mm. so life class really helped us a lot and also sir other super speciality classes so they were really good and they like solved every doubt that you want and always very responsive sir so i want to uh, thank speed as well for all this support we mean our motto is to travel with the student just yes. from day one to till the exam just to be with them and see how uh they are doing so that's how we love taking classes all the faculties including me everybody yes. so yes. so i think uh, finally we have come to the end of this interview and it was a very very productive uh, interview in terms of uh, understanding this uh, neat exam itself for mch general surgery and the way you looked at this exam and the way you prepared it was very very appropriate that we could see in the results and Yeah. And for that we wish you all the best and all the success for a great career uh, in the field of uh, surgical oncology all the best and uh, all the success and and advance wishes to you thank you sir thank you thanks a lot thank you thank you